Hey everyone, uh, what I've done is I've already opened up my CO2 car file that we uh, created in our last assignment that we have saved in our design and modeling folder. And all I'm going to do in this video is talk through uh, what we have going on. And um, one of the things you can already see is I have my scenes opened up, which is over here on the, on the right hand side, that um, movie clapperboard. Um, we have that pushed up, and one thing you can see is there's additional scenes underneath our normal uh, views that we found out in our last assignment, all right? Um, right off the bat here, just kind of explaining what you're looking at is you are looking at the front half of your CO2 car, the exact same size uh, as a piece of wood would be, or the wood piece that you're going to get. Um, and the thing that we have is a guideline already placed for you where the center of your axle hole should be from the bottom edge. And then also we can see the dotted line that kind of shows where that CO2 cartridge is in that uh, CO2 car block, the place where the, the actual CO2 cartridge will fit into um, that is the engine of our car. Now, um, going over to the scenes, the first thing I want to talk about is just the idea that whenever we're modeling here, we're going to be in our first half, and I'll explain all these other uh, scenes in a second here. Um, but for right now, I'm going to select in the full car just to kind of show you how this model works. Um, these are components, meaning I have a front component and a back component. They're exactly the same thing. Just like our last assignment, we made the eyes in SpongeBob, and when we went into them later and edited those components, we changed the colors, and they changed the other component also. So in here, if I come in and I use my selection tool just to right click on the piece, I want to go to where it says add a component. When I click, you'll notice that we have this blue axis and red axis showing up brightly and then also we have a dotted line going around that component. Um, the way that the components work here is if I was going to edit, and I'm just going to show this real quick by using the pencil tool and selecting the top edge, slide down to that top surface and kind of slide down the top face. Um, and then if I use my push-pull tool, you'll see that my front half actually ends up being the same as my back half. Or when I select it here, it will mirror. If I were to drop it there, it would leave that little piece. Or if I go all the way back to the middle or the mid point of my car, the back edge, it will actually delete it. Um, but I'm just going to edit undo uh, and get us back to the start there. Um, just want to show you kind of what happens that way. Now, uh, the other thing is besides whenever we're in our component, we want to make sure that we're right. We're editing the component. Um, the thing that you can know is that if you click off the edge, it will deselect. And remember, you can draw whatever else on this. If we're not in it and editing it, it will not alter our car. So. I always make sure we either right click edit component or we double click to get in the component like so one of the things i also mentioned here is in the right click right below the make uh, or edit component there's make unique and explode the things we don't ever want to do on the front or back of our car is click those two things because they will make it so it doesn't work all right and probably having to start over if you accidentally do that so Always be aware that we do not ever want to click make unique or explode because that will take it from being a component and it won't work the way it's supposed to. Now, uh, the next thing I'm just going to kind of walk us through is over here on the right hand side what we have. Um, remember, we start being in half car for modeling and whenever we're doing editing, we should be working in this scene. And if we ever want to see how our car works, that's the top scene, full car. The next one down is the front view and x-ray. And the front view x-ray has our car uh, front and what it shows you is where that CO2 cartridge is from that front view. If we go to the next scene, it talks about top view x-ray. And what it does is it actually flips us to the bottom and it shows us what, looking from the bottom, our car, and you can see that's where that CO2 car housing is, um, a place we won't be able to cut away when we're modeling a car. And then lastly, there's a, or second to last, there's a bottom view, which is the actual blue uh, portion of our car. The reason why it's blue is we've got to know where it is because whenever we edit our top view, we will be actually drawing on the bottom because that's the flat surface that works better. And then lastly, we'll be using our ortho printing scene because this has our top view in our front view and the back half of our car uh, design for printing our car out at the end, all right? I hope this video helps make sense of what you're looking at here. Um, once again, please try to stay with the videos. Don't do any editing yet uh, because we want to know what we're doing so we don't mess our model up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.